we are doing a UFC classic. You still see them a lot in jiu-jitsu too, but a guillotine. And we're gonna be doing this one from guard. You can do it from a ton of different places, whether it be guard, being taken down, someone rolling on top, there's always opportunities to be hitting guillotines. So, we're doing a little fancy one today. We're gonna be doing a chin strap guillotine with a twist. Um, double the pleasure, double the fun. Wrigley's Double Mint Gum? I don't know. I need to be able to sit up and get Matt's head. There's no way I'm gonna do that with his hands in between. So let's clear those. Okay, open my guard, make some distance so I have room. And just like an up and over sweep, I'm gonna do a little shoulder elbow hand. Okay, I'm gonna take my hand, I'm gonna wrap around. I'm gonna take my thumb, I'm gonna put it right under Matt's chin, and I'm gonna grab it. Okay, literally cupping his chin here. Now, as I fall back down, my other hand is gonna come fill this space between us. Climb my guard back up. From here, I wanna make sure that I'm on the crown of his head. I'll show from another angle in a second, okay? But I want to crunch his head in and down, just like I'm flapping a chicken wing. And I wanna do a side crunch towards his head. That means my knees are coming out the opposite way. So my upper body goes this way, my knees go the other way. And it ends up being a twist, but it doesn't necessarily twist his spine, it just helps take away all the slack in the technique. Just boom. Okay. So, from another angle, come over here. Clear, plant, over, chin strap, okay? And I'll show the arm position right now. For here, I wanna be on the base of his neck. When I go to finish, I wanna slide down because my hand is the fulcrum. That means to be strong, I need to be at the end of the lever, which is the crown of his head. Now I can't be too far, otherwise, boop, he slips out, okay? But I want to be able to see Matt's neck from here. My other hand comes between us, not around his arm. And I go back. I crunch his head in, my knees go out the other. To a So he's gonna make him laugh while you're choking him too. Submissions come on a little bit quicker that way. Okay, now. I'll show the other angle. Chin strap, important for this guillotine. It's gonna come in between us. There are arm and guillotines. That's not what we're doing this round. All I am holding on to is Matt's head by his chin. Okay, fall back down. Now my knees and my elbow go to touch each other. Yeah, that's a good one. That's a good one. Okay. You could catch this move from anywhere. I could get it from Turtle. I also don't need my legs wrapped around him. I get the same grip and I can fall from here and I can get this. I just need to be able to stop him from rolling. Okay, this works from a lot of spots. Just make sure, make sure, and we'll talk about this when we do the defense, that if my legs aren't wrapped around him, his body is on the same side of his head. So I'm gonna want this over here. His body's on the same side of his head. I do not want to catch this cross body because I'm never going to be able to get the leverage that I need to finish. And that is the guillotine with a twist. <laughs>